G'day, g'day, welcome back. Yep, I'm wearing a green shirt in front of a green screen, so I'm fading away, but um, you know this is what we do. What we do is five minutes and under Bitcoin, crypto, altcoin analysis update. Keep you updated in the market, bite-sized pieces. We start off with the news. The news is Binance FUD. There is a lot of people, big players, including um, Kevin O'Leary and friends, FBS, SBF donors, uh, the Democrats, all that, including Forbes, as you can see here, that have it out for Binance. Um, they are salty because of FTX collapse and they don't like Binance basically because they had a hand in it. So what we're seeing here is some things coming out and this guy, this squeezer, Gary Gensler as well. Um, Binance US is fine and regulated. The FUD is about Binance, the global, the largest volume exchange in the world. Cryptocurrency exchange Binance moved $1.8 billion of collateral meant to back its customer stable coins to hedge funds last year. So similar drama to FTX. Um, you can see that Forbes dropped the piece of information. Forbes dropped, dropped the news. Uh, if you've ever had a look at Forbes and read Forbes, they tell you who they think is the richest people in the world. Do you think those people are the richest people in the world? Is Where's the where's the Saudis? Where's the Rothschilds? Where are all those big um, big names? Yeah, so they claim to know who's rich and who's not on Forbes. They claim to have the list. I don't believe anything that Forbes say, but as we've seen with a lot of FUD over the last year or so, well, actually since crypto began, some of it is true. So it is good to at least hold a bit of caution with that. If you want to read the actual article, you're welcome to pause and have a read yourself but we don't have the time for that shit so i will say one more thing and that thing is this binance denies the claims from forbes ftx denies the claims denied the claims luna denied the claims celsius denied the claims everyone denies the claims until they are proven true we do not want to see Binance go down. You do not want to see, no matter who you like, don't like in crypto, nobody going down, nobody in trouble, unless they are toxic, is good for the industry. Even for example, something like the XRP lawsuit, that would not be good for crypto as a whole because it has a contagion effect and it spreads, it would spread to all altcoins if XRP was labeled a security. Anyway, onto the charts. Firstly, we're zooming in on Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart. So this is a shorter term analysis. One candle equals 15 minutes on the Bitcoin chart. You see there was a channel or a bear flag in a downtrend followed by a break down and then a retest of the channel. So that is bearish. I actually opened a small short here because of the risk to reward ratio being good and lower high, high, lower high, low, lower low. Uh, also, lots of good readings on the stochastics lining up all downside multiple key time frames. That's Bitcoin on the short term. Let's have a little look at an altcoin. Here we have CLH traded on KuCoin. We posted a trade set up in the blockchain bulls right here. Uh, it has been 14 days since that was posted and 77% gains. There was two take profits, that being the second take profit. The first one was around about here, minus 6% drawdown. Very good trade. What now? That is obviously a parabolic move to the upside. We really wanna see this bottom trend line hold, but hopefully if you're in the group and you have taken profits, you will have taken profits, <laughs> but you wanna see this bottom trend line held here so very key level to watch on there if you want to see the trade setup post here it is there you go proof is in the pudding beautiful trade setup posted here in the blockchain bulls trade ideas lovely love your work a couple of things blanked out you'll have to join the group to see what they are we had it 13th of february 77 percent gains two weeks beautiful work catch you later see you tomorrow